answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do it again. Let's do it one more time. Y'all know me. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular. Bad girl Sundays. No, it's good girl Sundays. Because they be putting stuff on people. Now, let's move on. What's going on with Sheen? We're going to talk about Sheen. Sheen is one of the biggest clothesline in the urban hip-hop uh, industry right now, and they are under watch. They're being sued. Why is Shane being sued? Let's get to it. Who knew? All right. Watch Shane wants to take down Twitter and Tim. So they're down there. Shane accused of um, criminal activity and bombshell Rico lawsuit. Rico? What the hell? Let me find out they're over there intimidating people allegedly and saying don't sell to these. Let's read it. Okay, what's going on with she? They they applying Rico charges to everybody. So you see why I roll by myself? See why I roll by myself? It's just me and God. You ain't about to associate me with every, with that because I talked to the person. Oh my God. A lawsuit filed Tuesday claims she violated the Rocketeering Influence and Corruption Organization Act. That's RICO, better known as RICO. This latest legal action marks an escalation of the mermaid lawsuit that sources of brand and artists have filed against the Chinese fast fashion giant that for trademark infringement. In the recent year. All right. All oh, they going in on people's stuff. So in the 52 page complaint, plaintiff, this is all the plaintiff, Krista Perry, Mash, Jay Bryan. There's a bunch of people represented by attorney Jeffrey Gluck and David Eckerson claim that Sheen infringed upon their trademarks in the first five counts of the suit filed in the U.S. District of California Century district. Montez is CEO and owner of Miracle Eye and Los Angeles company designed to design and produce it made to order clothes. Now, hold on. I'm just, just, let's talk about this because this actually affects a lot of smaller businesses. This is when the big franchises come in and be watching the smaller ones. Hint, hint, YouTube content creators. I see you're watching me. I love you though. One day we're going to fuck with each other, but I see you. You know, you watch the smaller content creators or the smaller brand creators, and then you take shit from them. You know, you take style. You take a little bit to keep you on top, okay? Because you know that these people don't have the money or the means to come after you, okay? It happens here on the YouTube streets, and it happens everywhere in business. Usually used by the prosecutors as a means of freezing assets of organized crime, RICO statute can also apply to civil complaints. Mm, who knew that? It's not only criminal. Wow. I need, to, I need to be looking at it. I wanted to do that apply to the government. I'm going to shut up, not talk too much. I got some people I want to report for RICO. RICO. Okay. Sorry. Did I tell on myself? Okay, but you can do, they said RICO applies to civil complaints. The attorney general, um, city, the, the attorney general argues city, the uh, civil pong of uh, racketeering. So racketeering, which was designed to address the misconduct of culpable individual cogs in a larger enterprise. So each individual will be culpable for their own action, but is connected to a larger enterprise organization. It will establish the egregious, egregious, sorry, y'all hear my pronunciation, copyright infringement of types of alleged, uh, alleged here and the type reference in other similar cases against Shane constitute racketeering. They, 
Oh, I don't. I want to see how this is applied. I need to look at this because I'm trying to figure this out myself. A 2005 amendment to the federal RICO law applies in cases of criminal infringement of copyright. Wow. Ooh, go ahead, y'all. Be stealing people content. Must contain an element of willful infringement for the purpose of commercial advantage or private financial gain. Another requirement for the RICO claim is that the offending party is not just an individual or business, but a criminal organization, which describes Sheen's behavior, according to the lawsuit, as a company misconduct is committed not by single entities, but by de facto associations of entities. So they probably had other entities that were telling them designs and things from smaller artists. I, I, I had that happen to my son, something similar, where they literally took his thing, his order, did not complete the order. And then we was going back and forth with them later on. We saw them actually have like a little demo of something that was very similar to his shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It happens all the time. So, but in this case, they consider it Rico because they will have another organization maybe that um, works with them, works with the smaller businesses or smaller creators and take some of their stuff. Okay. That's where the racketeering is coming in. Who knew that she would be accused of racketeering? Baby, this case is going to get a little bit deep. Um, um, let's see how this works out because you know uh sheen is a company from china i can't say the name but you know mm, i'm gonna just take a whole glass and shut up now let's talk about essence magazine let's talk about essence allegedly they say essence has no black girl magic it's a toxic uh work environment allegedly and the black girl said it's called black girl ain't magic. Um, what she sounds like is literally don't be mad at me. I gotta put this up. Let me put this up right here. Y'all see my hand? Don't be offended. When I say this, you either gonna be enlightened or offended. But this is, seems like a common practice within our black community. Be offended. I want you to listen to some of the complaints. Um, complaints such as superiority. Um, micro bullying um money not being distributed or paid correctly um people not being acknowledged on june 28 2020 anonymous group of women who said they worked at essence magazine published a letter on a medium accusing the company of fostering an unhealthy work environment now i know you're like yeah other companies do that too we ain't talking about that we're talking about what we got we ain't got a lot but we got essence OK, so we're going to have to fix this. The company launched two independent investigations. Now, y'all going to listen about how they behave after these um, comments was made. That's why we know that it's toxic. OK, it sounds like nursing to me. It sound like healthcare. personally. A company launched two independent investigation, which could substance the claims made in the letter. Some employees felt like their concerns were not taken seriously. Mm hmm. Tw uh, 20 former and current employees talked to insiders about their experiences working at the magazine. Despite changes, some remain unsatisfied with the company law. Let's give it to them that some changes have been made, but we don't know what changes. Okay. Um, on June 28th, oh, we talked about that. So the Essence brand promised uh, it's fraud. The Essence brand promise is fraudulent, the essay says, published in Medium Claim. The once Excel medium brand dedicated to black women that has been hijacked by culture and corporate greed. And that's what goes on with us. Culture and corporate greed. Yes, we, we, we get into this culture that we are the boss. We are, you know, we're the top dog and we don't want nobody else to get bigger. So some of that backbiting goes on in the community. Tell me I'm lying. I don't care what they doing. I'm talking about us. I'm talking about us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's fix ourselves. So now the letter says that the leader of Essence fostered an extremely unhealthy work culture, riff with pay and inequality, sexual harassment, corporate bullying, intimidating, colorism, and classism. Yes. Y'all want to complain about white people. You need to complain about yourself, you, us, us. It's all of us, okay? Colorism is within us. 
Um, it's, some of us don't be like, I'll come out naturally like, I don't like this person because they dark this, that, and a third. But we have a serious issue with judging people by their facial fe features or demeanor. Knowing that our demeanor is based on all the hardship we went through and all the extra stuff, but we still seem to judge each other. Classism. Does it sound like the boule? Allegedly. Does it sound like the blue boule? They were talking about the boule. I probably put that as the uh, you know, that that video that you hit at the end of the video. Bang is gonna be about the boule. We already got something up about that. Okay. Now, what do they say? Classism? One that begins with Miss De with Denise, the beauty mongo behind Shea Moisturizer bought the publication in 2018. So um, allegedly a drastic change started in 2018. Okay, let's not say it was always like this, but this is highlighting from this time. So we'll clarify that. After the letter hit the internet, Denise and the rest, of, now this is what we need to pay attention to. This is what you know is toxic because it sounds like healthcare. Talking about who has any issues? Listen, after the letter hit the internet, Denise and the rest of the Essence leader team scrambled to deal with the implosion. In the public statement, Essence denied the allegation, calling them mischaracterizations, I do apologize, an unfounded attempt to discredit our, band, our brand and assassinate personal character. Now, I don't agree with that statement because if, that, if this letter was coming from outside, and not inside, and they said a variety of people who work there and don't work there, used to work there, then you could possibly say that. But why would the people working there do that if it's such a beautiful environment? Make it make sense, okay? So let's not play the mind games and using these words to sensationalize stuff because, you know, Grace Levi ain't going to fall for it. The magazine hired two law firms to investigate. Does it sound like some strong arm is going to be going on? First and foremost, why would you hire two law firms instead of uh, a company that's going to help you make your environment better, first and foremost? Because the lawyer is not going to make it better. They don't know how to be trained and caring, employee consideration, and all that type of stuff, okay? It's called quality assurance for your business. You got to make sure that your employee is okay. But no, you get two law firms to investigate, but the independent review cannot substantiate the accusation of the bullying, harassment, and discrimination made to in the letter. Who would admit to a lawyer that you're treating them bad, that you hired? Who would do that? That's stupid. I don't think, I don't think black people are stupid, though. We ain't stupid. We stubborn, but we're not stupid. Still, some employees say they have witnessed management become increasingly defensive. The company held town hall meetings over Zoom where they encouraged people to speak up about their concerns. Only by airing out these concerns, they say, could they make the workplace better. But some former employees who attended the meeting said the sentiments didn't seem sincere. Instead, they believe leadership became obsessed with sniffing out who wrote the letter? Okay. Sounds about right. Where well, we ain't focusing on what we need to focus on, Black people, you want to cover up somebody talking about you instead of trying to figure out what's the problem and actually fixing it. Yes, this, this one is for us. This is Essence Magazine. This is trifling. Okay, but, uh, but some former employees, like I said, attended it, felt like it wasn't sincere. Instead, they believe leadership became obsessed with sniffing them out. It was a critical turn point in establishing trust with employees again and assuring us that our work matters here. A former employee present at the meeting told Insider, but in the moment we were made to feel replaceable. Sounds like nurses, the other nurses station, like if you don't want to be here, and there's these two nurses here with 10 patients. Stupid nurse is like, okay, we're going to take 10. We're going to take 10 today. Okay, that's why I say it sounds about nursing. Okay, mm -hmm. but in a moment we were made to feel replaceable. It was a turning point where a lot of folks checked out. Rather than listening and taking accountability, ex employees said that they felt like leadership tried to undermine their voice in their experience, echoing the sentiments expressed in the open letter. Essence is the most deceptive black company in America. Why? Essence aggressively monetized black girl magic, but the company does not 
intentionally practice black girl magic, the letter says. The company long stand a pattern of gross mistreatment and abuse of its black female employees is the biggest open secret in the media business, okay? They say, you want to be mistreated? Go over there. It's like a trash, trashy workplace. Inside of spoke, allegedly, Insider spoke with two former and current employees across titles and departments about their experience working at Essence. Five former employees were still at the magazine in 2022 or 2023, and additional nine workers at Essence during the time of the letter was published in 2020. They like, who was it? Who told on us? Many employees were at Essence in 2020, said they experienced or witnessed a hellish dehumanizing culture with a rig top-down hierarchy some compelling of mismanagement and poor compensation issues that currently and um recurrent employees says haven't been fully resolved in the three years since the letter was published most of the sources request annuities out of fear from retaliation and to protect their career. This is what they feel about Essence, allegedly. Toxic black girl magic. And that's something that we really have to address as a black community. Yes, you can change Essence behavior by writing them a letter, letting them know, like, I support you, especially if you support the magazine. I support you. And what I'm hearing is not acceptable. What are you doing to correct this? If you don't correct it, we not support you. But that's supposed to be across the board with all types of toxic ass places that's doing stuff against humanity and people. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams you will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.